1 and 3 of number 28, How Great Thou Art. <laughs>
we also share very much in his comfort. If we are having trouble, it is so that you will be comforted and renewed. If we are comforted, it is so that you will be comforted. Then you will be able to put up with the same suffering we have gone through. Our hope for you remains firm. We know that you suffer just as we do. In the same way, God comforts you just as he comforts us. The Apostle Paul, like the words from Isaiah, assures us of comfort. This comfort, Paul says, comes from God our Father, who gave us Jesus Christ as a source of comfort. Our next hymn is number 92. 92, 92. What a friend we have in Jesus. Um, a favorite for many of you. Number 92, and we'll sing verses 1 and 3 of what, what a friend we have in Jesus. Psalm 119, verse 76. 
May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Psalm 119 is a long psalm. It includes 176 verses. And it isn't usually the first psalm that people go to when choosing their favorite passage. Mostly the theme of this psalm celebrates the law of God. Because it's so long, it's sometimes hard to sort out a verse or two that has special meaning. Hospice House, which used to exist in Holland, had scripture verses on each of their patient rooms as a way to provide encouragement. And there was one particular room in Hospice House that had this scripture passage, May your unfailing love be my comfort. And a patient who died in Hospice House asked me to do their funeral. And the family found encouragement from those words, and so they asked me to use that passage in his funeral meditation. Now, while these may be helpful and encouraging words for a person receiving hospice care, they're wonderful words for us to hear as well. No matter what each day may bring, the psalmist promises that God's unfailing love will be with us to sustain us, to encourage us, and to comfort us. We live in a world where virtually nothing is reliable. Mechanical things fail us, memories fail us, and people fail us. Anything that is humanly based is fallible. But scripture promises that God's love is unfailing. And in the knowledge of that, we find comfort. Our lives, um, we live our lives with the future stretched out in front of us. We're uncertain if each day will bring us challenges or joys, blessings, or grief. But there's one thing about which we can be certain. Each day will be full of God's unfailing love for us, God's children. I encourage you to rest in the comfort of God's unfailing love. We're going to sing together again, and our next hymn is number 19, Great is Thy Faithfulness. 1-9, Great is Thy Faithfulness, and we're going to sing verses 1 and 3 of number 19, Great is Thy Faithfulness.
number 5757. Oh, how he loves you and me. And we'll sing verses 1 and 2 of number 57. Amen. Yeah.